Hey, what's up guys? It's your man JB here and in this video I'm going to be having a look and using this Purdy Mini Roller. Now I bought this a few days ago, maybe a week or two ago. Uh, haven't got round to using it, waiting for the best opportunity and uh, I guess that opportunity has just come around. So I needed a, a new Mini Roller. I've got, I've got that half a dozen mini rollers but they've all gone a bit rusty and they're a bit short a bit short in length and when I saw this one I thought hmm it's quite nice it's a bit longer than my other so it'd be a bit be quite nice getting behind those radiators so uh, yeah I thought I'd go ahead and treat myself well let's take a look at the roller frame to start with and what we'll do is just take this packaging off here now this takes three quarter inch sleeves, so this is like 18, 19 millimetres um, in diameter. So I've also got my Purdy Jumbo Colossus <laughs> um, sleeves to go on there. Super production for all paints and finishes. It's got a half inch nap on it. But then in the, uh, on the other side it is 13 millimetres, so uh, yeah, you know, 13 millimetres, half inch, it's about the same thing. So that's pretty long, isn't it? So uh, I reckon that's going to hold quite a lot of paint, I guess we'll, we'll see very soon. Um, the, the thing I like about this is, well, I haven't got a small or mini roller that can take my roller pole. So the great thing is here, is that you can put it on the end of your... Oh, um, usually I, I have to use the little kind of bit you put on there and then push it into the end of your roller and then it always ends up coming a bit wobbly even if I put tape around it. So this is quite nice. Yeah, you can attach that to your, to your pole. So that's good. Nice rubber handle. All my other handles have been uh, plastic. You know, they're not uncomfortable, but that's quite nice because it's quite grippy, which is good. Get a nice grip on that, definitely. This is all very shiny at the moment. I just hope that this doesn't start to rust over a period of time, but we'll, I guess we'll see about that. Now, the features of this are quick connect with power lock extension pole. So, as we've established already, you can screw your pole into here, but I think if you've got a early power lock, um, pole, uh, somehow you can perhaps release it very quickly, I don't know. Uh, if you do know, let me know, leave a comment. Easy roller cover release, well we'll open these up and have a look in a minute, but that looks quite nice and smooth and universal threaded end, so I guess the fact that that's a threaded end and you can basically fit any roller pole on there. So this is a 12 inch frame, as it says on the packet, and it will fit four and a half and six and a half inch roller covers. So you could actually have a much longer roller cover on there, which is, uh, which is pretty good. I thought normally the smaller rollers just take a small, uh, or the small roller frames just take a small roller. So that's, that's rather good, I like that. That's about all we've got on the packaging here, other than it does say Revolution Smoothest Rolling Action. So apparently this has got the smoothest rolling action, we'll see about that. Let's open up our sleeves. So these are a three quarter inch core, which means you can put it on that three quarter inch roller. It also says that it's a half inch nap. So yeah, it's pretty, it's quite long. It was nice and cozy and warm. <laughs> um, fits all jumbo mini rollers. Okay, great. That's about all we've got on here for all paints and finishes, super production. Well, before I get it wet, what I want to do is see how well it goes on and off of here. So it goes on quite nicely and comes off quite nicely. I don't think there's a particularly 
special way in which you're meant to get that off. I can't see any other way than just pulling it off to get it off. But uh, it does go on there quite nicely. Look at that. Yeah, I've got myself a, a new roller. Superb. So uh, I guess we better prime it up, get it wet, and um, get it ready for a bit of painting. So I'm doing this room. Um, I am painting it the same colour, so you're not actually going to see it in a completely different colour. Um, but I'm going to start cutting in now. And what I like to do when I'm cutting in is to go over it straight away with a roller, particularly a mini roller, just so we don't see all the, the brush strokes around the doors and along the skirting. So we'll cut it in and then we'll just blend it in with our mini roller. So we're pretty much ready to go. I have got a slightly oversized kettle, but that's all good. I like it slightly bigger. Plenty of room to put your brushes and also hang your roller. And the fact that that is quite long, even with this, and I've got about that much paint in the bottom, it doesn't actually hit the paint. You don't want that sitting right in the paint and you take it out and it's all over the shop. Um, and I tend not to use a, a mini roller tray if I'm just doing a bit of cutting in and then using the roller, so I just tend to hang it off there. So what we'll do then, we'll get started. I've got myself a slightly thinner brush because I'm going to need to get in between those plugs and this uh, three inch pearly brush is probably not going to be, um, it's probably going to be too thick to get that in there. So uh, what we'll do, we'll just start in the corner and as I've said already this, uh, this is exactly the same colour which actually for me is, is quite nice, it just means there's not it's not really a lot of work to do, and it only needs one coat. So there you go, I've just cut that in with the brush, just this little section here. I might just go around the edge of these plugs as well, so we can just sort of check out the, the mini roller around here as well. I mean, these brushes that I'm using are pretty good for cutting in and getting a really nice finish but you're still going to have those brush marks those brush lines, really don't want that so this is generally how I would paint then so I'll just do some cutting in like that and then I'll get my mini roller now, as I've said already, rather than use a mini tray, I'll just give it a bit of a roll in the paint there, just to get a bit of paint on there. Wow, this really is thick. This is like a this is like a piece of carpet wrapped around a rolling pin, <laughs> thin rolling pin. But there you go. Okay, okay, right. Here we go. And that. It's rather nice. I've got a couple of bits of fabric come off already, but I think that's probably just a normal to start with. Oh yeah, that's lovely. You really do get a lot of paint on there. You can see how thick that roller is. And also the good thing, you can get it right to the edge because it doesn't have like a plastic end. I've got some other mini rollers which has a plastic end, so you end up kind of hitting the wall and not getting paint on there. But with this, you can get it all the way to the edge. So you completely eliminate any lines, any paint lines down the corner. We'll just do it along here. Obviously I'm not gonna run the roller over the plug, that's you're going to have to have a little, a little bit of uh, brush marks on there. There's nothing you can really do about that. But that, oh yeah, that's really nice. 
feels really thick, it really does feel like it's got a lot of paint on it as well. It really does move the paint around well. Nice, I'm loving it. Let's get on with it, do a bit more. So I've cut all that in, gone round with the Purdy Mini Roller and now I'm just going to go with a big roller to finish it off. And it's actually great because I don't need to worry about getting too close to the edge here. Sometimes when you do that you might end up hitting the, the end of your larger roller with this screw. Um, but knowing that that mini roller's got all the way into the corner means you can just join up the bit where you did the mini roller and you haven't got that right to the edge. Sorted. So there you go, really can't grumble at that, I, I really like that, that's uh, really good, really big fluffy nap pile, whatever you want to call it, so that really does hold a lot of paint and great that it gets right into the corner as well, so yeah I'm, I'm pleased with this and the finish is good, makes the job really quick, so uh, nice one Purdy. So I definitely recommend one of these, whether you're doing stuff at home, DIY or, or for you know, professional painting, um, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, should have got one a bit sooner actually, because uh, it really did make a bit of a difference compared to the other rollers that I've got. Well if you want to get your hands on one guys, I've left some product details and links in the box below as always so where you can go check it out if you want to. So yeah, if you've got any questions about this then uh, you know what to do, you can leave them in the comments box below. Give us a thumbs up guys if you like this video, that will be fantastic. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon and all that nonsense um, just so you remain updated for when I release a new video and new content. Awesome, I'm done. Uh, no I'm not, I'm not done. I need to finish this off. <laughs> so I'll see you guys real soon.